Hi, it's me again, and um, still working on the lamp, and you can see how I've got the columns done. This would be like the capital of the column, and your fluted, and then the base of the column. And you can see up here how I'm highlighting with a wood burner. There's my wood burner. How I am highlighting the uh, the grooves and everything. And then uh, from there, it'll be to put on the finish. Still not sure. I, I keep thinking I want to take a stain and stain the rings. You know, and then leave this section with just a clear polyurethane, or just do it all with a clear polyurethane. I'm not sure yet. I still got to decide on that. But that's where we're looking at right now, and um, that's it. Okay, now this is a fro and a log. And what you do with the fro is you use it to split your planks down. Now, I'm going to hand this to my brother so he can film it while I'm doing this. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to split this down so I can show you how I made my plank for the base of the lamp. So, here you go. Just keep it focused or pictured over there. Now, it rained this morning, so this may be hard to do. And you can see how that's splitting it. That's how it splits off. And then you just keep on splitting it down to the dimensions, pretty close to the dimensions you want. And you get yourself a plank. And of course it's 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 rough cut. Real rough. then what you do is you can take a hand plane and plane it down or you can take uh, a belt sander which is what I did for one that I had and then you get a plank and I'll show you that plank that I got this is the one that one right there And I sanded that down with the belt sander. And that's going to be my base. And here we have the um, lamp shaft, whatever you want to call it. I got it all burnt in and I got the first coat of uh, polyurethane on it. I won't put the second coat on it until after I get the base done. 
I'm not sure how I'm going to do the base yet. I'm still figuring that out as I go. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this sanded down. This is just a rough sand. Took out all the saw marks and, and the splitting marks. Got it down to a fairly uniform thickness. Not real good, but fairly uniform. And uh, just got to figure out how I'm going to make the base from there. But I'm going to get this sanded down nice and smooth. Down to probably about a 240 grit. Seeing as how that's the finest sandpaper I got is 240. And then um, take it from there and do my cuts and do my shaping and then sand it some more and then glue it all up. Okay, this is what I'm going to show you so far. This here is the plinth, whatever you want to call it, the upright for the lamp. And this here is going to be good, going to be part of the part of the base. And I've got it flaring out from the bottom. And then there'll be a piece of wood coming down. Matter of fact, this is going to be one of the pieces coming down like that to fill in the whole area. But in order to figure out these angles here, I didn't want to just cut them arbitrarily because I'm limited on my width because it's got to fit on my headboard thing. So I could only go four and a half inches. And this here is three and three quarter. So I had to draw it out on a piece of paper and then take a protractor and figure out the angles from there. Now the problem I've got, and I've got the same thing for my angles here and here, but my problem now is this compound angle here along the sides. i got to figure out how to do that. And of course I've got to get it all centered and everything first. And then once I get these pieces cut, this one and the one on the other end, get them cut and then I'll glue them together. And then I'll glue the lamp part onto the base. But that's where we're at right now. And I'll put more on in a little bit. Okay, here we are. I've got all the pieces cut. And I did a dry fit. And I probably should have done a little bit more work. But what I did is I just did a glue up. I put dowels in. Going from my front and back. Front, back, into the sides. And I didn't drill the angles right. But anyhow, I got the glue, got it gluing together through the dowels, and then where there's gaps, what I'll do is I'll make some homemade wood putty, wood filler, and fill that in, and then I'll sand her all down nice and smooth and even. And that's where I'm at right now. Okay, this is the way it's looking right now, and uh, you can see I filled in. All the cracks with my homemade wood wood filler and then what I've got to do now is set up my belt sander and get all the edges all even the top and the bottom and then and this will sit on there like that what I'm going to do what I think I'm going to do is drill excuse me drill a couple of holes probably one here and probably one on the back side maybe I'll go on each end because I've got to carve out a little channel in the back for the cord to come through and then so it can go up through the hole and but anyhow on one on two of the sides what I'm going to do is drill a hole down right about a quarter inch and then mark it on here with my um, doweling jigs and then drill up into the base of the lamp itself and then cut some half inch um, dowels and glue them in and then I'll be ready for the uh, the clear finish coat on the cherry 
but that's after I get it all sanded down and everything. Sanding down is going to be my next step. But when it's done, it will look something like this. Of course, with the, the light part sticking up right up here. Ought to look pretty good. And the way it's the way it'll set, it shouldn't tip over or anything. But I kind of like the way it's turning out. This oak turned out and made with, with um, the spalding and everything on it makes it look like an antique. But um, looks cool. There'll be more later.